Good morning, it's Gavin here at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center with your 11 a.m. update for July 31st. We're tracking two systems now in the um, Pacific Basin, one in the Central Pacific as we look at Hurricane Eric. From the latest 11 a.m. update, we see that the location is still moving westwards about 14 miles per hour west-northwest, and it's now a Category 3 system. It's slowly weakening with maximum sustained winds at 115 miles per hour with gusts up to 140 miles per hour. As we look at some of the satellite imagery over the last few hours, we do see Hurricane Eric moving west-northwest, and it's about 535 miles southeast of Hilo at this time. We do see the five-day forecast uh, cone track. We have Thursday, Friday, and Saturday um, moving south of the Big Island, but we do see some impacts. Some of the impacts we're expecting is the high surf still now through sat Thursday, south and east facing shores mainly over the Big Island. Heavy rain possible on the Big Island and on the eastern portion of the state, as well as high winds mainly over the Big Island, Thursday p.m. into Friday. And here are our expected um, watches and warnings that we have out right now. We do have a flash flood watch out for the island, for the Big Island, Thursday p.m. through Saturday a.m. So that Thursday through Friday, Saturday uh, time period, we're expecting that heavy rain to be a possible threat to the Big Island. We do still have a hurricane warning out more for our offshore waters, the tropical storm warning out just for the southern coastal waters of the Big Island, and a small craft advisory for portions of Maui County's channels and uh, the Ali Nui Haha channel as well. For Tropical Storm Flossie, National Hurricane Center is still doing the updates, but it has weakened since a hurricane from the last 5 a.m. update. It's still moving west-northwest at about 16 miles per hour. Maximum sustained winds, 70 miles per hour with gusts up to 85. So as you can see, here's the satellite image of Flossie. It's about 1,875 miles away from Hilo and we do expect it to kind of follow the same track as Eric, but may take a little more northerly path. We do have it showing it weakening a little bit in the next couple of days, but we do see a little bit of re-strengthening going into the weekend, and as we see it maybe weaken again as it gets closer to the islands. So then again, it's too early to see any of these expected impacts of what we can expect, but we do urge everyone to stay prepared, especially on our website, weather.gov forward slash Hawaii, and the hurricanes.gov page at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center where you can find updates both on Hurricane Eric and Tropical Storm Flossie. Stay prepared.